Hey everyone, I hope you've all been well this past year. You're probably shocked to hear me again after everything, and I honestly don't blame you. Why did it take me so long to say something? After all that went down, and after the mental journey I went through because of it, I was fully convinced that the best option was to just get away from everything while still following my passion in some way. I didn't want to risk hurting anyone further even after I'd learned from everything, so I just figured that going radio silent would be the best outcome for everyone. I'm sorry that I never really had a proper goodbye and just disappeared like I did. And I'm also sorry if that was the wrong decision to make at the time. Though to be frank, that probably should have been the least of my concerns. In light of recent events that have been going on, you know who you guys are and you know what you've been doing. I can't just stay silent on this anymore. Things have gotten so bad recently that I fear that if I don't say something now, things will get so much worse for not only me, but for everybody. I'm done standing by and letting everybody speak for me. I need my peace out there, and it's time I said it. Of course, I don't mean to make excuses to make what I did okay, nor do I mean to invalidate the pain others felt, whether directly because of me or indirectly because of my actions. I'm putting all my cards on the table, and I'm going to speak on what happened. Starting in 2017, I had just started to get a bit closer to my still-growing fan base. I had made a Discord account, which was a pretty new thing to me at the time, had made a server, and had started to hang out with people that I would consider to be friends of mine. Everything seemed to be going okay, until I started to get attracted to some of them. Too many of them. What followed was a period of me abusing my position of power, whether it was intentional or not. I will make it clear that no nudes were exchanged and no physical meetups actually happened, thank God. But a grand majority of it was what is known as SMUT. S-M-U-T. If you're unfamiliar with the term, it's an acronym for Sexual Maturity Under Text. Roleplay, if you will. And yeah, I know that's pretty damn ironic. I flirted with so many people. Dated more than I even thought was possible at one time. And considering that most of my fan base were minors, yeah, you can see why that should have been a huge red flag from the start. And for some, it was. Because people tried to talk to me about it. An intervention, if you will. Every single time, I told myself that this needs to stop. And every single time, something would happen that would lead to me going right back to doing it. I'm not surprised if that alone made a good portion of people lose trust in me nor do I blame them at all. I was an absolute scumbag. I put myself and my own desires before everyone else's so many times that I'm sure you could fill a whole book with them. I hate that that's who I used to be, that I hurt so many people, and that I ran away from everything instead of trying to make amends. That ends today. I'm sorry to each and every single one of you that I hurt with my selfishness, whether directly or indirectly. I'm sorry that I wasn't a better person and instead chose to do all that to you. I've dedicated this past year to not only making sure those urges were well and truly kicked to the curb, but to make sure each and every individual portion of my shit was sorted before I even thought about making this video. I've improved, I've grown, and I've changed. Having said all this, however, there's one claim out of them all that I cannot in good faith just let slide. If you had come to me last April all the way through last August, I probably would have agreed with the claim because of just how broken I still was mentally. But now, after having thought it through so many times and discussing it with some people, I need to address this here and now. I am not a pedophile. Anyone who still thinks this either hasn't really done their research or they're blatantly over-exaggerating the facts to make me out to be something I'm not. I know what I was. I was a person who was so sheltered and stupid that I saw my audience as a way to get something that I couldn't get otherwise. But in no way am I a pedophile in any way, shape, or form. And in order to know why, we need to do some math. I'm 19 currently, and I'll be turning 20 this October. So 2021 minus 20 means that I was born in 2001. A grand majority of all this bullshit happened between the years of 2017 and 2019, though I did thankfully slow way down during the latter half of 2019. So, taking all of my birthdays and my age into account, I was 14 when I started really taking YouTube seriously, and then turned 15 in October of 2016. 
Then I turned 16 in October 2017, 17 in October 2018, and then 18 in October 2019. That means that for almost two years of this happening, I was a minor too. Let me read you a few different definitions of the word pedophilia. One of the three definitions from DuckDuckGo. Sexual acts committed by adults with prepubescent children. Two of the definitions from Merriam-Webster. A. Sexual perversion in which children are the preferred sexual object. B. A more specific definition. A psychiatric disorder in which an adult has sexual fantasies about or engages in sexual acts with a prepubescent child. The definition from Dictionary.com. Sexual desire in an adult for a child. And then, the definition of pedophile from the same website. An adult who is sexually attracted to young children. There's a common thread across all of them. The word adult... I'd understand if I, as a minor, were doing this shit to, like, toddlers or kindergartners or something like that. But to people that were, at the time, around the same age as me, I just fail to see the logic there. And to those of you that are going to say that children were my preferred sexual objects as an argument against me, no, they weren't. I never had a preference. Because at the time, having a preference to which group of people I preferred over others felt scummy to me. And even now, it still does. What I did have was desperation. Desperation that led me to get attracted to people who showed they cared even the tiniest bit about me. And those people, at the time, were my fan base. Plus, I was not exclusively attracted to minors. Age was never a factor in who I was attracted to, especially when I was a minor myself. Of course, that's the thing that got me into this whole mess in the first place, but it also shows that this argument is null and void because saying that children were my preferred sexual objects isn't true in the slightest. Now let me clarify, me being a minor does not make what I did okay, nor does it account for anything that happened after October of 2019. I still hurt people, and even unknowingly I still took advantage of the situation I was in, and I'm deeply sorry to everybody I hurt because of it. But at the same time, that also doesn't mean that you have the right to call me something that I'm not. Bad person or not, I still feel like I have the right to defend myself from bullshit that I feel isn't true, and this is one of those crocs of bullshit. Now of course, this all isn't an argument against anything that happened after October 14th, 2019 onwards. At the very least, I should have stopped after my 18th birthday. For that, there is no excuse. And for that, there is nothing else I can say other than, I'm sorry. I've since had it fully ingrained into my skull that what I did was wrong, and that it was fucked up. And I will keep saying it until I'm dead in the ground. I'm sorry. For everything. I'll admit that after writing all that, I feel like a bit of a weight has been lifted. While I'm still disgusted by what I've done and I know I'll have to live with it forever, it feels nice to get everything aired out after a year of holding it in. And now, it's about time I stop dwelling on it and letting it hold me back. I can't change what I've done, nor can I change anyone's minds. And if this were still 2020, the latter is probably what I would have tried to do. But now all I can do is just keep moving forward and, come what may, I hope I can one day atone for my sins. But first, I do need to put my foot down on one last thing, because I'm sick of seeing it happen, not only to me, but to anyone. I want to make it crystal clear that any form of harassment from this point onwards will not be tolerated. Bear in mind that I'm not referring to those that criticize what I do or say, nor am I referring to those that disagree with what I've been doing and what I will do in the future. In fact, I thank you. It's you guys, the people that were never too extreme on either insulting my very existence or showering me with blind praise that made me wake up and got me to where I am now. I'd probably be in a much worse place without you, so thank you for everything. I'm referring to the people that, no matter what anyone says or does, will add nothing to the conversation other than such insults as You're a monster, or Shut the fuck up and leave the internet, or my personal favorite, Kill yourself. These statements are nothing but toxicity for toxicity's sake, and even if you absolutely hate my fucking guts, surely we can reach an agreement that saying you'd be better off if you just died to anyone is completely unacceptable. 
I will not be allowing any of that to befall on me or anyone else, and I'd rather die than let that kind of nonsense reach anyone's ears, especially if they're going through mental torment. If I see that shit from anyone, your comment will be deleted and you will be banned with absolutely no exceptions. Starting today, you all will be able to see the new me. The me who's moved past his demons and is ready to prove to you that he has. This will be my plan to do that. No more Twitter. At all. That place is toxic enough as it is on a normal day, but being able to peruse a list of followers was one of the contributing factors that led to me falling down the hole I did. From this moment on, Twitter will not be used by me at all unless I need to look at tweets or something, and even then I don't need an account to do so. No more Discord servers, until I know for certain I can handle the responsibility. That could very well be never, and I'd honestly be okay with that. But that was probably the worst possible place I could have been given the situation. And while I feel I've gotten a pretty good grasp on myself now, I'm not taking any chances. I'm still working on trying to get some form of therapy to make sure I'm completely done with this nonsense. The reason that's been delayed is because of, well, COVID. So not only have me and my family not had the extra funds to be able to afford it, but trying to do it over a Zoom call or something, for me, wouldn't help as much as being there physically. But rest assured, once we can afford it, and the state of the world is a little better, I will put the money aside to do so. And any help you all could give me in pointing me in the right direction would be really appreciated. And now, to close, I have two different messages for two different groups of people. I know that what I've said will be taken differently by different people, so I'm making sure all my bases are covered here and now. If you don't believe me, and this is where you stop associating with me, then I completely understand. It's been an honor and a privilege to be able to get to know you all. Even through everything that's happened, know that you all mean a lot to me. You've helped me through so much more than you all know, whether it be just watching my stupid shenanigans shooting the shit with me on tons of different things, making me laugh on multiple occasions, or just being there for me at my lowest points. I'm sorry I couldn't be the person that you wanted me to be. I'm sorry that I failed you. I wish you all nothing but the best. Stay safe out there. But if you do believe me, and you're going to stick around, then I thank you for giving me another chance. I will do my damnedest to make sure that I don't waste it and I will strive to become the better person that you know I can be. I'm sorry that I was the person that I was, and I'm sorry that I hurt all the people that I did. I will do better, and I hope that you'll eventually be able to say that without a shadow of a doubt. Thank you all for hearing me out. I look forward to being a better person for you all.